All right, we're gonna go over banded toe press downs. So you need a band to be able to do banded toe press downs. And what we're gonna do is we're, work, we're going to work on the big toe separately from the other toes. So for the big toe, we're gonna be working on flexor halluses. And for the other toes, we're gonna be working on flexor digitorum brevis. So um, you don't need to know those fancy names to be able to do this exercise, but what's gonna happen is you're gonna take your band and you're going to anchor it underneath your heel. And then you're gonna wrap your big toe first and you're gonna pull up on that band. And what's gonna happen is that band's gonna pull your big toe up and you're gonna press that band down with your big toe. And I'm trying to make this motion as smooth as possible. It's easy to let the band sort of jerk you around, but you're gonna try to make it nice and smooth. And I'm holding for just a couple seconds once I'm at the bottom, feeling those muscles work along my arch, along the extension of the big toe, and then coming back up. If you notice that your big toe drifts towards your other toes, you can help it a little bit by pulling the band out to help strengthen the muscles that like help bring you outward um, and to strengthen those muscles in a more functional position. If, you're, if you become a pro at that and you wanna make things more challenging, you can add a little bit of resistance by bringing the band this way and trying to press out so that your toes, or so that your big toe instead of floating towards your little toes is floating towards your other foot. So that's for the big toe. For the other toes, you're going to get your heel on the band and you're gonna wrap your other toes with the band. Um, and then what's gonna happen is you're gonna give yourself a little bit of resistance. And the important thing here is that I don't want your toes to stay curled up like this. I want you to have a little bit of space between your toes. So it's not like you shouldn't just let the band like crunch up your toes and keep them all together. We're gonna spread the toes apart and then we're gonna keep them from like knuckling up or from like hammering um, as they press down. So I want your toes to stay relatively straight. So you might have to provide yourself just a little bit of resistance. If you can't pull up as hard as you could on your big toe, that makes sense, your big toe is bigger. So I'm spreading my toes apart from each other and then I'm pressing them down. And for me, my toes are trying to do that like weird hammer thing where the ends are trying to curl under to help me. I don't want that, I want my toes trying to stay straight. And I'm trying to spread them. Again, I feel the muscles in my arch working. If you become really good at this one, you can separate out when your big toe moves from when your other toe moves, um, move. But uh, for me, my big toe is like still trying to help. So I'm asking it to stay still. Again, spreading apart, pressing down, holding for a couple seconds, coming back up, feeling my arch muscles working. There you go. Um, you're gonna go for at least 10 on each side or 10 on each uh, sort of like iteration of this. So 10 with the big toe, 10 with the other toes. Uh, you might do it on your other foot, depending on what your PT told you, um, but you're gonna go for two to three rounds of that total.